often reaching out to my network to find out who are the experts on subjects in South Africa that I'm not yet connected with. And one name that kept coming up time and time again is Rafiq Phillips, who people keep telling me he's one of the leading experts on search engine optimization right here in South Africa. Well, I'm pleased that I'm now connected with Rafiq, and he's here to talk to, talk to you today about the five must-have hacks on how to optimize your website for SEO when you're selling online. Hello world, I'm Rafi Phillips, and today I will be discussing with you the five must-have SEO ta tactics for every online seller. A long time ago in a, what seems like a galaxy far away when conferences were still in person, one of the last things I said while doing an SEO talk was diversifying your traffic sources. And in episode four, Google Shopping Diversification, A New Hope. Um, one of the great things about a Google Shopping feed when it comes to your search or SEO performance is that you can use the exact same feed which displays your products in Google Shopping to also include your products from your online store in Facebook Shop, Instagram Shop, on comparison shopping sites like Price Check, and coming soon to South Africa, I believe your WhatsApp shop, if you have a business account, will also include it. In episode five, the fundamentals of SEO strike back. Something that is extremely important is ensuring that your website actually validates to W3C. W3C is the World Wide Web Consortium, and they set the standards for things like HTML, ensuring that the code used to develop your website is, actually com is compliant and actually renders in all browsers correctly. Browsers nowadays include those that are built in certain mobile apps, um, like the Google app on your phone, even Facebook. Things like feeds, ensuring that um, your content is scrolled and discovered quickly, um, which, ensure, which will assist you in ranking in a speedy manner. Other things that you can use the W3C markup validation service for is ensuring that your style sheets are also valid. Another thing that's vitally important, especially from a Slack perspective, where the majority of our users access our online stores through or with their mobile devices is ensuring that your site actually renders your mobile content correctly. And last but not least, one of the fundamentals of SEO and ensuring you have good rankings within search are the links. And the W2C markup validation service also allows you to find broken links on your website or web pages. Chapter six, vocabulary of the Jedi. This is a picture of what we call, what we call, if you watch the Mandalorian, uh, Baby Yoda. If you remember um, from the Mandalorian, um, in the first few episodes, he was known as the child, and no one actually knew what his name was. And the internet and the world were crazy about Baby Yoda. Um, and in this is, and this is an example. We only found out later on that his real name was actually Grogu. And this is an example of using the language your customers or your potential customers use in the content of your products on the website. So if you're the manufacturer calls a device or a product that you you offer in your online store, Grogu, but everybody else is searching for Baby Yoda, consider tweaking the naming and product descriptions of the product on your product pages. Have a look at Google Trends to see what your audience are actually searching for, your potential customers are actually pushing so and ensure that the, the content you publish on your product pages, in your product descriptions and your category pages actually match those. Um, seasonal site structure and vocabulary, um, ensuring that your site actually matches what people want to buy at that current season, be it Christmas, Black Friday, the start of the year, the change of the season from summer to winter, etc. So ensuring that your content, your navigation matches 
the season of which your customers are in and where they are in their buying journey. Um, something that you can look at if you're, you have it set up is Google Search Console, where you can actually see which queries your customers are searching for that end up either landing on your site by clicking through to your site or where you, where you could potentially appear in search results. And last but not least, mention not keywords, did I? Structured data, uh, chapter one, the schema.org menace. Structured data is vitally important for e-commerce in today, today, when it comes to ranking favorably in search results. Things that structured data offers is within your search results, you could see things like star reviews, which would attract the attention of potential customers while they're searching for products and services and increasing through rates from search results. The, the structured data also provide, gives the ability of providing the price of your products straight within the search results. Um, I'm sure most of you have seen little video previews with structured data or structured data, depending on your accent, um, you are able to include a video preview on your product or category pages or anywhere on your site, as well as images. Um, chapter two would be the page speed of the clones. Page speed is vitally important. Milliseconds could cost you millions when it comes to e-commerce. Things that could, things that you could, tools that you could use to in, in, to in, check that what the page speed of your site is like is a tool by Google called PageSpeed Insights. And things that you could do to improve the page speed of your site would be like using new image formats like WebP, um, caching your web pages and your web pages, which it will ensure that the user interacts when your page loads quicker when users interact with them. Um, I know single page applications is all the rage, but it's a pet peeve of mine when it comes to optimization. An SEO professional just has to jump through a lot more hoops to get your context indexed. So if you're using, like, like my advice would be to use less JavaScript, it would speed up the loading of your website. And finally, a content delivery network. I'm skipping, those are like the five things um, every store owner should know. Um, you could just Google any of those ideas that I've shared with you, but last but not least, I'd like to share with you um, everywhere optimization awakens as chapter seven. It's the sixth thing, even though I'm said I'd be talking about five, but Google Assistant is going to be anywhere. There's a Google Assistant in my headphone. There's a Google Assistant in my phone. Hey, Google, who am I? Your name is Um And soon Google will be able to know everything there is to know about you. Um, when it comes to e-commerce, utilizing the five examples uh, or the five ideas I've just shared and the five fundamentals every shop owner should know. Um, this, um, all these elements work together and this will enable you to be ready for when optimization is everywhere you are, be it your voice or the device, a TV screen inside your car, mobile phone, laptop, tablet, etc. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm sure there is a question functionality here at, um, of, or, or questions can be asked at uh, the, the summit itself, or you can reach me on Twitter at Rafiq. And remember, do or do not, there is no try when it comes to SEO.